Hey, what's up guys? Alex from Hot Wheels. A quick little how-to video on how to install Baron end cap. Uh, Baron end caps come in lots of different shapes and forms. Um, you guys seen the bullets, the Stillman end cap, our fancy crazy bullet. Um, a lot of them are cosmetic, a lot of them are actually have a, a function to them. Uh, this one right here, as you see, it's a see-through. Um, this one actually releases a lot of heat from the motor, keep keeping the motor a lot cooler. Um, and then also you got the ones that are bearing, which all of the ones that you purchase from us are all have bearings in them. And what this does, it actually goes in place here, keeps your armature spinning nice and free on here. So um, I'll do a quick video on how to install this guy. Uh, it's pretty simple. I started getting a lot of emails about it. Uh, so I figured, man, might as well just make a little video. So a brand new motor, straight out of the box, you guys see. Um, first things first, pair of dykes. Uh, actually, I'll run through the tools real quick. Dykes, 10 millimeter, and a rag. The rags to make it look shiny at the end. I said shiny. All right, so first thing, get your dikes. You're gonna remove this little plastic cover off the splines. A lot of people forget that. Uh, remove that, dump it, call it a day. Next step from there, 10 millimeter, break off these top nuts, or uh, bolts actually. And uh, when you break these loose right here, on the bottom side there's actually gonna be uh, two square nuts that actually hold the motor in place uh, for shipping and uh, transportation purposes but uh, for what we're doing we're actually not going to use them so as I lift the motor away you'll see here's those uh, two square nuts uh, I like to keep these so I'll put these in the box uh, a lot of times you could use them when you're disassembling setups and keep a motor together um, so when you're disassembling the motor the motor is going to have a few different pieces uh, pull this up real quick it's going to have the back cap on the stock motors, the back cap has a brass guide right here, and that's uh, pretty much the same, serves the purpose as the bearing, but it's just a lower cost version of it. Um, when you upgrade to the bearing, the motor is going to spin a lot more freely, and it's going to have less drag on the motor. So we'll be removing these, keeping these cap we're not going to use. Next step from there, you're going to grab your dikes again. And this is the part where a lot of people forget. There's a little, I don't know if you can see it. See this little Dell pin right here? This Dell pin keeps the cap centered uh, on the stock cap. When you get uh, bearing end caps, a lot of them don't have the location. Um, ours don't. And that's the reason for this video. So I can show you guys. So you can get your dikes and actually just place it at the base of that Dell pin. And what you're going to do is just hold on tightly and just rotate up. And it comes right out. So take that out. Put that aside. Next step, bearing, cap. There you go. Hold it together, rotate it over, and put your bolts back in. And when we do it, I like to still keep the flat washer and the lock washers on there. So uh, uh, you guys should too. And then what you're going to do is you're going to look down into the motor. And you're going to see there's going to be two bigger openings on the outside. And uh, you'll, you'll see the actual holes in the bottom. So drop that guy on there and rock it back and forth. And a lot of people push down on this and can't figure out why it's not closing. You gotta remember the shaft sticks out. Right now the motor's sitting flat in there. So if you actually lift the motor up, push the cap on, we're all set, everything's good to go. And uh, show you guys installation on the block now, how easy it is. So I'm showing you guys on a brand new block. When you guys are doing this, you guys are probably most likely gonna be doing this with the tank, the motor, or the tank, the gear, backing plate all on. So what you do here is you're going to actually line up these splines with your gear, with your uh, key. Once you line up, what we like to do is I like to actually put pressure on the bolt and rotate it. And when you rotate it, you'll actually find the position of the hole. So, so I took it back out on purpose so you guys could hear it. It kind of locks in place. So and then I hand start them, 10 millimeter. On these you want to just go nice and snug. You don't want to go crazy tight on them. There's really no need for it. And you also don't want to break those bolts. So just I normally snug it and then just nice little quarter eighth turn. Call it day. There you guys go. That quick, that easy. Motor on our block with the nice bearing end cap um, it's a lot shorter than my normal videos but I just want to show you guys how easy it was so 
there you guys go uh, installation and uh, hopefully that helped you guys out for the few guys that were asking there you guys go appreciate it uh, Facebook Instagram uh, YouTube a lot of these videos if you're watching the video it's coming off of YouTube but a lot of these videos are found on there so if you guys could go on there like them share them help another lowrider out and uh, again we thank you guys for all the support and love uh, we love doing these videos I like doing these videos because I like getting the feedback I love the feedback at the end cruising around the show and someone's like hey are you the guy from YouTube hey that's me <laughs> um, yeah but no seriously like thank you guys for all the love the mad respect out there um, 2017 I guess this is the first video of the year so pretty exciting but uh, thank you guys see you guys first show is Arizona Super Show so see you guys out there and thank you